at one point as a child, I went, oh my God, I'm alive. How did this happen? This is weird. What's being alive? This is fun. You're alive too. <gasps> Let's make something that seems like it's alive. I'm Jeffrey Novius. I'm the resident artist here at Stone Quarry Hill Art Park in Casanova, New York. I worked in the theater for 36 years, and I've been finding out whether I can do artwork for three. And the pieces I've been working on uh, are a series based on archetypal places where I have lived, places where, you know, you have a favorite bedroom, you have a favorite view out the window, you have a favorite uh, cafe that you uh, drink coffee at, and then reimagining those places with climate change. And so kind of trying to figure out how to present those images uh, in ways which uh, start other conversations. Especially I'm interested in reframing this conversation for both children and adults. Adults have been having a hard time enough coming to terms and having honest conversations about what's happening with the climate. Um, how, do we, how do we welcome and help children into that? Um, they're experiencing it at a different level and they will be responsible for dealing with it at a level. That's been an interesting process, both visually and intellectually. A lot of directing has to do with, you imagine this whole world and it has to be true to itself within that world. And you have an experience with a group of people who are in the show and with an audience that comes and sees it. And then when it's over, it's gone. The artwork I'm doing, I go away from here, I come back, it's still here. If it was valid when I left, it's probably still valid when I come back. That's a whole different kind of experience. So the short answer was that I was kind of so startled by being, finding myself here and alive that I wanted to explore that. I think that all human beings do that at a certain level. I think the motivation for creating art is that sense of bringing something to fruition, to life that wasn't there before. I like to pretend that that process informs artists so they tend to be less interested in the other side of it. I can't prove that, but I want to believe that, so I do.